In this parametric pattern video tutorial, I want to show you how you can model this woven pattern as you can see here in Grasshopper. And you can see that we can change the length and the height of this pattern and produce uh, different woven patterns as you can see here. But before we start uh, from scratch, because I'm going to teach you how to do this from scratch, uh, I want you to first of all stop watching this video tutorial and uh, first think uh, of the steps uh, you need to model this okay so first of all uh, to boost your creativity and make you think of the steps you need to model this I want you to uh, comment uh, on this video the steps you have to uh, you have to take to model this this will help your uh, parametric thinking begin to grow and you will just think okay if I want to model this which steps should I take and what are the steps uh, which I uh, need to reach this so uh, please comment your steps uh, as you think on it uh, on this video and I will answer uh, each one of them and tell you that this uh, this way of modeling this pattern is not good or it's good or you can just enhance it or you can improve it with these steps so uh, please if you want to improve your parametric thinking uh, first uh, comment on this uh, video and after we reach the number of comments uh, maybe 50 or 100 I'm going to also share the grasshopper file in the website so uh, be sure to check the website two or three days later. I'm going to check all the comments. Uh, we, could, we will have a discussion on this. And after that, uh, we will share the Grasshopper file. But you can also watch the full video tutorial and we will just model this from scratch. So uh, if you watch the video to the end, uh, perhaps you know how to model this and there's no need to comment. But uh, I guess it's better to Think about this and comment on this video before you watch the full video tutorial. Okay, to get started from scratch, uh, I'm going to explain a little bit uh, about the units. So let's just turn everything off and bring this up, uh, as you can see here. Uh, the main unit we should model in Grasshopper is uh, these curves. As you can see, uh, these are simple curves which are made from one curve and then uh, I used mirror to produce the main unit. So what I'm going to do is to produce this one and then finish the model. So what we need here is assume that we have this line here and we divide this into half, uh, move this midpoint up and this midpoint down and then we can just draw a simple curve like this and we'll have the main units. Uh, the next steps are uh, easy and we can just have this something like this we will have something like this in this direction and something like this in this direction and then again we will have something like this so uh, what I'm going to do is to go to the curve section and use this line STL and let's just put this I'm going to use the bifocals plugin so you can see the tool okay uh, the start direction can be set to 0 so I'm going to hit 0 and enter and uh, the direction is going to be an X and the length can be something like 25.6 okay so here is the first uh, simple line which I've drawn and what I want to do is to first uh, draw a simple curve here and then uh, mirror this so I will have the rest so this is going to be easy uh, we can go to the curve section and use the end points to extract the start and the end of this line so we'll have the start and the end and we need the middle of this line to go up so I'm going to use the point on curve tool and move this point a little bit up so I'm going to give this a Z direction and let's just give this a number okay 
So you can see that I can move this point. Let's just put this between 1 and maybe 10. And here we can just change this point. And now we should uh, connect these three points. The start, the midpoint, which I've moved up, and the end point, as you can see here. So let's just go to a curve, interpolate, and do an interpolation, start. I'm going to use the shift key here. So this uh, first is the start one. The sh uh, use the shift key to add the moved point, and again, the end. Okay, so uh, that's really easy. You can see that I have moved this up and so like this okay so when we have this curve we can just simply mirror this and what we need here is the mirror uh, plane so what is the mirror plane you can see this can be a yz so this can be a yz uh, located at the end of this so this will be the mirror and then we will mirror this uh, for an xy plane and then we will have the downside so we need two mirrors I'm going to give this an uh, yz plane and put the origin of that at the end okay and again the mirror let's do this with an xy plane and turn this off so here we go let's turn the xy plane off and you can see uh, how simple it is to just define this and define the height okay so we can also join these two curves so let's just join them join curves and have this curve joined with this one okay everything off and now we have to produce uh, the other curve so what will happen is that uh, to produce a seamless pattern we have to put this curve something like this uh, assume that this is the height we have to go down and have this curve come up so this is going to be at the center of that uh, I'm going to show you in grasshopper how we can model this and one of the techniques we can use you can do this with move mirror and rotate but for now I'm going to show you how you can use this with the orient direction tool so let's just do this an orient direction and give this the curve which we want to orient and we want to orient this curve from this point this will be the point A okay and direction minus X so the direction is going to be minus X and the point of the location, okay, the orient direction, you can also watch the uh, grasshopper tutorial about orient direction, I've explained that. But for now, I'm going to orient this curve from this point, okay, and from this direction into this point, so this is going to be the target point, and in this direction. Uh, so basically this will just rotate and orient that in that direction this is the most simple way you can do this so I'm going to uh, use the this point and we don't have this so we can just have this point on curve here and let's just use the mirror and have the XZ plane here so we need this point so here we go we have the point so this is going to be the uh, a reference point the direction will be as I explained here we can go for an X and give this in the expression minus X and the point for point B is going to be this point so let's just give this here this is going to be the point B and the direction is simple a Y so I'm going to give this a Y direction and here we go you can see that this is going to be simple with orient direction if you work with that you can see how simple we can affect this pattern okay and the next one is going to be another pattern something like this here so we need to orient this curve from uh, this point and this direction into this point and this direction okay uh, or in the minus y so let's just do this again I'm going to use the orient direction orient the curve the starting point will be the midpoint 
the direction is x here. Uh, this is the direction. This is the point. So the target point will be this one, and I guess this one or y or minus y. So let's just give this second point to this. I think that this is the point. And if we give a y to this direction, you can see that's correct. Or otherwise, we can just put a minus x here, okay? So this is the third one, and the last one is just moving this simple join curve in the y direction. So I'm going to move this in the y direction, and we can move this from here to here, okay? So this is going to be the distance of the line. So let's just go here and we use this as the length of the line. I'm going to give this here. And you can see that this is going to simply be there, okay? Here are the four. Let's connect the curve to this joined one. And here we go. Let's just put center of this. Okay, we have all of those curve here and you can see how simple it is to define the length and the height of this. And at the end, we need a pipe here. So I'm going to use pipe and use the shift key to connect all those curves to the pipe. And uh, the radius of this, assume that we want uh, to define the radius at this point. Okay, this was the middle of this and going up, this was down. So we need this circle and we need this circle, okay? So this is simply the height of that. You can give the height to the R, but uh, I'm going to give the height to the R or radius. And you can see that this is going to be fit. Let's just put this to the shaded. And you can see that this is going to be fit here. But you can also, uh, okay, we had a problem here. So let's just go back and turn this off. Uh, we had to fix this one. This is going to be down and then up. So this is going to be simple. We can just again mirror this curve with an xy plane. That's it. Simple xy plane. Just fix that. Let's just give that to here. And that's it. We don't need that. Okay. And you can see that this is correct. We can make this to be sure about it. And here we go. So you can see that's okay. So we can also give a multiplication to that radius by going to the math. And I'm going to give this a multiplication, a number between 0 and 1. And what does that mean is that if I put this to 1, this will be uh, exact radius and they will going to be fit. And we can decrease that number to have a little bit of gap between those pipes. So we can give this to the radius. And here we go. You can see that we can change this to have a gap uh, or not. Okay. So we can finally have this uh, on our surface by using the array, a rectangular array. This is the thing we want to array. So what is the distance? The distance is going to be from here to here and from here to, uh, okay, from here to here. So these are the distance we need. And we can simply put that two times the length. So that's the two, two times the length. And uh, let's just turn this off. The first input was the geometry. We would need the pipe. The next one is the cell, the uh, rectangular cell. So I'm going to give this a rectangle. And let's give this length to this. So this was the length, the x size, and the y size. Okay, uh, I forgot that this is a dimension, so it's going to be 0 to that number. And what we can do is to multiply that before we connect that. Okay, so let's just multiply this by 2 times. And here we go. We have this 2 times. And Connect that. Yes, and that's it. So you can see that the rectangle is correct. And what we need here is an x count. Okay, I'm going to give the uh, same number, so it's going to be a rectangular array. And you can see 
uh, how we can just array these. Uh, we can change the number of the multiplication here. Okay. And we can also change this length and height to make this a little bit fitter. Okay. And here we go. You can see that this is going to be a fit uh, parametric pattern. Let's bake this. And so this is easy. You can uh, produce this pattern simply by Grasshopper and you can see that those pipes are sitting on each other. Okay, I guess that there's a small distance between them, so let's just increase the distance a little bit so they can have a simple curve here. So remember you have to be uh, uh, work on this number because you can't give it whatever you want and you have to just control that, okay? And that's it. So let's check this out again and I'm going to bake this Yes, and that's what we needed. So you have to uh, be careful about the distance you are giving, okay? So here we go, and here we have that simple pattern. You can just put this into rendered, and you can see that this is a simple parametric pattern, and is the technical thing, okay? So thank you for watching. If you have any questions uh, about Grasshopper, uh, feel free to put below the video, and Thank you for subscribing and be sure to hit the notification button uh, so you can get our latest video. Okay, thank you for watching.